between aphids and ants. I must be mad. Just stick with me. Hi, I'm Daniel Cobley, and this is The Hidden World. <laughs> Although it may seem strange that I was anxious that just one, just one of our hopping mad friends upstairs could have caused an entire infestation, there are insects that can clone themselves as their main form of reproduction. And I have some of them in here. These are probably one of the most common of insects that primarily use asexual reproduction um, to, to spread. These are aphids. Now, we've already covered cloning. We found out that some insects do, some insects don't. Now, crickets, thankfully, weren't one of them. They have an ov ovipositor, so they lay eggs. Which doesn't really solve it, but they do reproduce sexually. So, what are we learning here? We've already done cloning. Well, aphids have a very strange relationship with ants. The reason I'm holding a paintbrush is because I have in this pot one of the one of the aphids' most hated, most feared enemies. It's a ladybird. Now, ladybirds are fascinating creatures because just like butterflies, their larvae look absolutely nothing like that and they go through a metamorphosis in a little chrysalis, just like butterflies do. And the same to butterflies, everyone knows that. But not everyone knows that before ladybirds look like ladybirds, they look like little black well, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a little, little wiggly, little black and orange wiggly thing. And they too feast on aphids. So where do the ants come into this? Well, that's what we're trying to show here today. I have a little paintbrush and I'm going to delicately try and remove the ants. And two. So, what was that all about? Why have I taken some ants and deliberately separated them from aphids? The aphids now are on their own. There's no one else. This is now the time that we introduce the master killer. We're now going to introduce the ladybird into the aphid colony. No, no ants, just one of these guys. You shall soon see. Because if the ladybird knows that there is food here, ladybirds are voracious predators and they can consume hundreds of aphids in one sitting. Now, so far, she isn't particularly interested. There it goes. And the aphid is down, devoured by the stunning and beautiful predator. The aphids don't stand a chance. They are a soft bodied hunk of meat, delicious and very rich pickings for the ladybird. Not so good, I hasten to add, for our little friends. So reproducing fast and quickly and in great numbers won't help these aphids much. Because if we, if you look at that, she has made short work of those aphids. They are dead. So, what happens now? If we add an ant, it's going to get in the lid. 
So unfortunately for these aphids, the ants have completely missed the ladybird on every occasion. And so the ladybird carries on munching all of the aphids it can find, while the ants are completely oblivious to their cattle being slaughtered. <laughs>